Hi, my name is Efren Cruz, and I operate Illuminate Workshops in Denver, Colorado, where we teach photography classes. Lately, we've been talking about tripods. In this tip of the week, let's talk about tripod heads. There are a number of different styles of tripods. What we have here are the three most common. We have a ball head, a video head, and a 3D head. Each have their own features and benefits. Let's go through them and see what's best for you. Starting with the fluid head. The fluid head is so-called for its fluid range of motion when panning or tilting the head. It's also commonly referred to as a video head. This fluid head has a horizontal and vertical flip, which is good for still photographers who want to go from landscape orientation to portrait orientation very quickly. It's a nice compromise. The, the fluid head with a horizontal vertical flip is a good compromise for a still photographer who also wants to shoot video. Next we have a 3D head. 3D head has a number of different adjustments to control the frontal tilt, the lateral tilt, and the rotation of your camera. The 3D head gives you a lot more control over these three axes. It's a good tool for photographers who like astrophotography, architectural photography, and macro. A variation of the 3D head is the gear 3D head. And the gear 3D head gives you a little bit more control over the minute adjustments of these three axes. If you need to bypass the gearing at any point, you just turn this knob and quickly adjust your tilt or rotation. As you can imagine, the gearing in a 3D head can make it a little bit more cumbersome, a little bit longer to set up your composition. The type of head with the highest level of flexibility is the ball head. This ball head allows you to pan and tilt and horizontally adjust your composition and tighten it up very quickly with a single knob. This ball head comes with three adjustment knobs. It has the main locking knob, the rotational knob, and a drag control knob. When used correctly, this drag control knob can help prevent you from accidentally dipping the camera or dropping the camera if you loosen the main locking knob too quickly. The ball head is by far and away the most flexible and the quickest tripod head to frame up. A variation of the ball head is the pistol grip ball head. The pistol grip has a single lever which you can uh, pull to adjust the horizontal and vertical orientation. You can adjust the tilt uh, and the pan on this tripod. One thing to note about the pistol grip ball head is that a pistol grip is generally weaker in load capacity than a ball head. Where some ball heads can sustain 150 pounds, a pistol grip is usually limited to about 15. When you're looking at features in tripod heads, one that might appeal to you is the spirit level. The spirit level allows you to adjust the horizon when you're making your landscape photographs. Another feature which I'm very fond of are the quick release plates which you can attach to the bottom of your camera. A quick release plate allows you to quickly lock in your camera onto the tripod head and then quickly unrelease it and move on. Now we've covered styles and features, let's finally talk about level of support. It's important that your tripod can handle the weight of your heaviest camera with your heaviest lens mounted. Make sure that the rating of your tripod head can handle that weight. Well, I hope I've been able to answer all your questions about tripods and heads. If you have any other questions, feel free to post them on our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash illuminate workshops. We want to thank the guys at Denver Pro Photo for letting us use their fine equipment. You can find them at Facebook slash Denver Pro Photo. Finally, please visit our website at illuminateworkshops.com for updates on our coming classes and events. Until next week, happy shooting!